Today's video is about the Australian light horse in World War I. Right at the start, I'm going to say I'm talking about 1914, when the troops first went to the Middle East. When they first went in 1914, there was no sabre, there were no officer wallets on the horses, there were no rifle buckets on the horses. This is 1914, how the troops first went. What we're going to talk about today is only the equipment on the horse, not the man, the horse. So, first off, we've got the military saddle, which you've seen before. The military saddle is designed with all these hooks and circles that you can attach things to. And so what is attached to this horse, starting at the back here, we have the ground sheet. Three leather straps attach that to the back of the saddle. Moving forward, this is a wooden, steel-tipped tethering peg that comes with 30 feet of hemp rope. Moving forward again, we now come to the horseshoe carrier. That holds two horseshoes and around a dozen nails, and that's enough for when you go on patrol, you're carrying two horseshoes. We come further forward, we have a surcingle so that we, only ha we have a girth, and a surcingle, back up in case one breaks. The next thing we come to is the water bucket. This is a canvas bucket that could be filled with water. When it comes off, it didn't carry water in it. But when you stopped in the desert, you could fill that with water and the horse could have a drink. Next, we have the great coat. This is the great coat and you say, the Middle East, what on earth do you want a great coat for in the Middle East? Because of course it goes below freezing at night time. Most of the blokes slept in their clothes and in their great coat because it was so cold. Speaking of the cold and sleeping, what I didn't tell you is of course the saddle blanket. No fancy saddle blankets specifically made for horses in the Australian light horse. This is a government issue army blanket that men would have had on their bed in the barracks. You were issued with two. When you went on patrol, most men carried these, used both blankets as saddle blankets because the horse has enough stuff on it. You don't want a rolled up blanket on there as well. So continuing to move forward, we then come to the nose bag. How many times have you ever worked with an old person and they've said something like, oh, it's time to put the nose bag on. They said that when it was lunchtime. Well, that's what you would put, a, a, the horse's head goes into that. Don't see them much anymore. And the horse actually eats with that bag attached to its head. Here we also have an ammunition belt. This carried 90 rounds of 303 ammunition. So the man, which we'll talk about the man some other time, but the horse carried an additional 90 rounds of ammunition around his neck. If we move to the other side of the horse, while I'm moving I can just say, of course, Cody's just got modern headgear on. This video is about what the horse carries. So on this side what you will see is the Dixie. Now what the Dixie is, is a two-piece con metal container. It has a handle inside on one of those pieces. And this is a saucepan. Uh, you boil water in it. The smaller piece is your dinner plate. That is really a mini cooking uh, f item. And an enamel mug. Some troopers carried it on the Dixie. If you look at old photos, some carried on the Dixie. Some carried it on their... Um, Back on their pack, in their pack. So we've pretty much covered everything on from the other side, but one extra thing you will see, this was the oats out in the desert. Obviously there is no grazing for the horses, so they are given top quality oats, good protein, because it wasn't much quantity, it wasn't much roughage, but it gave them energy. And one other thing you'll often see heading out on patrol, you'll often see on uh, period photos, is a bundle of sticks tied up back here. And that's because obviously, again, out in the desert, there was no wood. The guys took sticks with them to make their billies, to make their fire, have the cup of tea. So we're gonna talk about the man and what else is carried in the man. And this was the 1914 issue backpack, would you believe? Not some other time. Thanks very much.